So here we have a twin engine uh, turbine electrical system. This is a trainer we have in the shop. Most times, again, we have two uh, starter generators, APU plug, diode um, current limiter, regulator for the left and the right, equalizing resistors, a battery which is 24 volts, voltage gauges, master switch turns on, reads out 24 volts on the battery. So you can see the battery voltage. Also amp meters for the left and the right, showing the current coming out of the generators. And we go behind it, we can turn on the AC motors that actually turn the generators to simulate um, the aircraft running. It's rather noisy, so uh, this is why it's nicer to do video and I can cut out the noise. So I tried to turn on the generator and first thing I noticed it's not working. You get no lights. There's two lights on the left and the right generator. And I quickly look to see that someone's messed with the breakers. So put the breakers in and my voltage has gone up. I'm drawing around 10 amps of current. I don't have a load other than the battery, so most likely the batteries are low. So it's starting to charge up the batteries and drawing that 10 amps. So I have switches to control the generator fields um, to turn them on. And what I'm gonna do is try and turn on the right generator now to turn on and share the load. So if it was 10 amps, it should drop it down to five. But as you can see, the right generator is still sitting at zero. So the right generator is not producing any power at all. So zero amps coming out of the right side and still 10 amps. My equalizing resistors look good. Um, I Split buses seem fine. I've got my lights all saying it works. I have my loads, so I have AC. I have a uh, radio light, which is supposed to simulate a radio running. I have my nav lights. My inverters are at the bottom there. I also have a rotating beacon and a landing light. So I turn all these loads on and my left again is now jumped up to 20 amps. So I've added about 10 amps more but still the right hand side is not producing any current. My right hand side is uh, turning on but I still produce nothing. So now I have a problem with the right hand side generator. So I need to fix the, the right hand side generator so I shut down the left and I need to, I can see when I turn the left on, it jumps right up to my 20 amps. I'm gonna do a shut. So I shut down the motors. I can see I got 24 volts. I put a meter on to uh, see the actual voltage so that I can see how much the generator is putting out. So. The left generator is a little low at 27 volts. So I'm gonna adjust it up a little bit, get it right at 28. So I adjust it to get it exactly 28 volts right on. And then I'm gonna check the, the right hand side. So I shut down the left and I energize the right hand side. But again, I still get nothing out of the generator. So I'm sitting at battery at 24, 25 volts. So that tells me that the generator is still not producing any power. 
everything seems to be fine on the right hand side physically so then I look and find that the coupling to the right hand generator is loose push the coupling back on and generator will spin. You hear the noise of that buzzing? You can tell that they've energized. So the number two is coming on and producing current. So uh, it's jumping up to 20 amps, which the other side was, um, but it's stripping the over voltage uh, protection. So it turns on, jumps up to 28 volts, which is what I want, and then it trips and drops it back down to 25. So it's still some minor issues with the right hand generator. Now it's spinning and it's producing energy. So what I did is I took and um, shut it down, swapped out the regulators. So again, to do that, I got to turn it off from behind, turn off the power, shut it down and Drop my phone. So as you can see, the right hand generator is putting out 20, 28 volts uh, where it should be. Now that I switched um, the regulators, set them up exactly uh, for 28 volts. Remember, adjusting the voltage so they're the same is uh, one of the things you want to do first. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the left uh, generator and see how much it draws. So I energize the left and it should drop by half and equalize. So the right hand side is drawing the 20 and the left is at zero. Still at 28 volts. Adjust it. And now you can see the left is about 10 and so is the right. So now they're equally sharing the current load by um, turn off the right hand side one and it jumps up. Turn on the right, same thing. Turn off the left generator, the right generator takes over. Turn back on the left. Again, um, you can see these are the um, current limits at the bottom, so they're set for 200 amps. Again, if you blow a current limiter, there's no way to replace it, reset it. it, has to be replaced on the ground. So each side is a 200 amp current limiter, and it can feed one side or the other. You can see everything's running, the lights are on, there's a little stall warning that beeps as well. Looking at the, the generators, uh, we can put the uh, clamp on amp meter onto the generator to actually measure the field if we wanted to, to show how much current is going into the field to, um, to produce that energy. We just have to clip it around the, the correct wire that's going into the generator.
And whoop, there we go. So you're about a one and a half amps uh, feeding the generator field to keep it producing that 28 volts. So turning everything on and now what I can do is I can actually turn and start the engine. So when I energize the right hand engine to start, you'll notice that it's shaking and that's the torque. Um, I'm actually energizing that motor to actually turn the engines over. So I can start each engine, the left or the right side of the engine, by the start switch. And you can see when I try to start it, it drops my voltage. I'm running right now off the battery only. Um, but you can actually see when I hit the start switch that those um, starter generators uh, torque when they're even attached to those big AC motors. So I was trying to show you a simulated start. So there's ignition. So looking at the system, we have our starter relay, our APU relay. Uh, it feeds up to the left hand and right hand starter and then it feeds around follow the wire there's the left hand uh, wire to go to the starter generator if i go back to the right again right side follow it around power on the right um, through the solenoid all the way down the panel around the diode and to the starter on the right hand side. 